Don't forget to subscribe to my channel Sephra Korea and hit that bell icon for regular notification. Hello students, welcome to my channel. So uh, so far we have covered um, two topics that is how metals react with uh, air and how metals react in water. So today we'll discuss how metals react with acids. It's uh, very interesting and has lot of applications uh, in our day to day practical life. So I would like to start off this uh, explanation by stating a few examples and experiences of mine. Uh, I had a pair of earrings, uh, gold earrings, which were quite old. I mean, they were almost like 10 to 15 years old. And this pair of earrings, it uh, developed a kind of dull look on it, a dull finish, blackish uh, tinge on it. It had black spots. So I wanted to wear this for an occasion and I wanted it to look new and lustrous and have that nice shine on it. So I decided to take it uh, to the goldsmith and uh, these uh, branded uh, showrooms, uh, gold showrooms, they have a device which they have kept an equipment to test uh, the gold purity. So I thought of just giving it a try and uh, I got this gold earrings checked and for my surprise, uh, I just realized that this pair of earrings were not in its purest form. It was not uh, completely pure gold, but it was diluted to a big extent. Like if you are aware, you know that gold comes in different uh, carats like 24 carat, which is the most purest form of gold and 22, 20 and 18 carat gold. So when gold ornaments, you know, your mothers or sisters will be using gold ornaments. So these gold ornaments, when they are made, uh, they need to be diluted. So you get them in different uh, dilutions of different purity like 18, 19, 22 carat gold. So that was the time where I realized that that gold earring was not in its purest form, but it was around 18 to 19 carat gold. That is the reason it developed that blackish oxidized look on it. Uh, oxidation process black uh, coating on it so i like to share these uh, examples because it also has relevance to my previous explanation that i have given about metals reacting in air metals reacting in water and also you know when metals react with acids the best example i can give you all is uh, you want to polish your items of gold and silver so that is the reason I mentioned this example. Actually, no, gold is called a noble uh, metal because in its purest form, it doesn't react with the environment. It always remains uh, glossy and has that shine. But when it's in the diluted state, it does form a dull look on it, a oxidized look. Silver for that matter, it develops a lot of blackish uh, tinge on it. It reacts with the environment. And uh, this, when you want to polish your silver items, you take it to the goldsmith and the uh, smith uses uh, acidic solution to polish these uh, silver ornaments. So this is the best example that I can give you all. Another example is in automobile industry uh, or construction line, these uh, metal components, especially iron, it gets corroded, it gets rusted and this rust to remove it, to clean it up, it is dipped in acidic solution and it's normally a hydrochloric acid, HCl, uh, because hydrochloric acid is a very strong acid and we should be aware that acids are of different types. They all have different pH values, normally acidic range which falls uh, below 7. If you all are aware of uh, the pH meter, the pH scale. So different acids has its own reactivity and there are strong and weak acids. So there are a few acids like HCl which is used to remove the rust from uh, metal that is iron components. Very big application in automobile and uh, industrial applications. So children, now I like to perform a small little experiment and I'll take you all in my kitchen and we'll do a small uh, experiment uh, which I will use uh, the kitchen items and show you all how do acids, how do metals react with acids. So what I've taken is, I've taken two candle stands and they are 
made out of brass so this is the only item i had presently with me so i wanted to share this small experiment which we'll make and brass is an alloy so you can also use copper utensils and copper items and perform this experiment so i have taken tamarind a uh, small little quantity and we are going to add some water in this and let it soak for around 5 to 10 minutes and i have also taken some lime uh, and some little salt so the reason why we are using tamarind and uh, lime for this is so separately i'll clean one item with tamarind and the other with the lime and we'll just little we'll have a comparison so this is my own experiment and the reason why i like to go a little beyond the syllabus is just because for you all to understand the concepts much better for you all to correlate uh, chemistry which is there in your textbooks and the theory part to your practical applications and for you all to understand it much more better so if you all are aware tamarind is tartaric acid and lemon is citric acid so this is just little more of information uh, not as per your syllabus so let's do this so let it soak for some time in water and i'll just give a quick rinse to this so this is the old method good old method that our grandmothers used to clean their brass items uh also show pieces in the houses and let me just use some salt on this and we'll squeeze the lime and clean it so you can just have a look so just use the salt we'll add some more salt and just keep squeezing the slime and scrubbing it so children you can just see uh, the difference it's no such magic as such but you know it's just the reaction of the metal with the acid you can see how shiny it's become and you can see the difference after rubbing it with the lime and salt we'll do it with the tamarind now some of you all may also see your grandmothers or your mothers doing this to clean some brass and copper items at your house so now you will know the scientific reason behind it that it involves a chemical reaction so you can see the difference both are looking nice and shiny and this could be done just with simple items available in our home in our kitchen and this is a basic chemical reaction for us to understand that how uh, metals react with acids so children you all have understood uh, at least you all have now a basic idea concept of how uh, metals react with acid so i have few more examples like you know this you all have seen this so this is a dish washing uh, soap that we use in our houses and have you ever wondered that on this uh, packaging material or also when you all check the advertisements that why is it uh, given the picture of a lime in this a lemon you have seen this so you will have the answer right today by after performing this experiment that how acidic lime is and how good a cleaning agent it can be in cleaning metal utensils so another thing practical 
stuff that we need to be aware is when we marinate food items especially non veg chicken mutton and all when we marinate it we use something acidic in that like we use vinegar we can use lime uh, we use uh, curds sour curds and while marinating this you should observe that your mothers will never use a aluminum vessel or a copper vessel to marinate the food items also when they store pickles pickles are uh, most of the time stored in glass containers the reason is because this acidic because this acidic uh, material it reacts with the metal so always be aware when you learn or you want to prepare something when you marinate it you should always use a glass bowl a glass container uh, because glass is uh, non reactive or also you can use uh, steel containers so now let us understand these concepts by discussing the theory a uh, experiment uh, will be conducted in your laboratory and this experiment uh, you need to take test tubes and fill it with dilute hydrochloric acid and uh, the metal samples that we have collected as we previously did uh, for the experiment of air and water take these samples but in this remember that we are not adding we are not using sodium and potassium because this it already is very reactive it uh, reacts so vigorously with uh, cold water so this is not included in this experiment but the rest of the metals uh, will be added to the test tubes of dilute hydrochloric acid and you need to uh, immerse thermometers in each test tube and you will observe that when the metal is added into this test tube filled with hydrochloric acid dilute hydrochloric acid there's the reaction process happening and in this there is change in temperature so that will be observed by the readings on the thermometer and you need to note down that which of this reaction it gave the maximum reading the highest temperature and also the formation of air bubbles which is hydrogen gas how vigorous or how fast it reacted so like i mentioned that hydrochloric acid is used for iron to remove the rust uh, in industrial applications so this we have understood by the theory explanation uh, which the lab experiment is conducted and by this experiment we conclude and we understand that uh, the reaction is in this order magnesium is the most uh, reactive with uh, the dilute hydrochloric acid followed by aluminum zinc and iron so this will help us these all reactions these all experiments that were conducted to understand the reactivity series of the metals so children remember when metals react with nitric acid instead of the dilute hydrochloric acid it doesn't evolve a uh, hydrogen gas it does not produce the reason is because the it is a strong oxidizing agent so it oxidizes h2 to water and it reduces to the nitric oxides like no2 no so if you all are not aware or you all didn't understand what's a oxidizing agent it's just a uh, very simple it gives oxygen to another element or compound and it reduces itself so the same thing it gives oxygen to h2 gas where h2o water is formed and it reduces itself to these compounds so it's just as simple as like you have three chocolates with you and you give one to your friend or your partner and what is remaining with you is two chocolates so the same thing you're helping your friend you're giving him uh, a chocolate which is your oxidizing so that acts like a oxidizing agent and you reduce yourself you have reduced your intake of three chocolates where you have given one to your friend so the same thing is happening as this oxidizing agent so children i hope you have understood the concept uh, of metals reacting with acids and also if you have any doubts or suggestions then 
feel free to drop your comments down below uh, in the comment section and I'll try to reply to you all at the earliest. So subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos to come up.